Hello everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator once again. Today I'm going to be joined by First Officer Siv Ryan as he will be in the right-hand seat on this flight from Ontario up to San Francisco in the Atlas Air 748. And uh, this is the Salty Simulations mod we're going to be operating here and your controls, a free program that allows you to have another person in the cockpit with you for shared cockpit should be a lot of fun a big thanks to thrustmaster for sponsoring this video with the boeing yoke in the whole tca uh throttle quadrant system you'll see me using using those tprs as well uh let's get up into the cockpit and get going we're, we're pretty much ready to go and welcome aboard the boeing 748 big big airplane um be sure to check out mr siv ryan if you guys haven't heard of him before uh he's been doing a lot of flight simulation uh on his channel and doing live streams with it. And uh, I think a lot of people will be surprised to see how far down the rabbit hole you have come with the uh, with aviation. Yeah, it's been a, uh, a pretty wild couple of weeks learning, <laughs> learning as much as I can. It's been fun. <laughs> I knew I was going down a, a deep rabbit hole and it just, uh, there's no end in sight to this stuff and I love it. All right, we're going to go to plan mode and just show you our flight plan we got going on out of here. Uh, we're going to be RNAV to Dink intersection. Uh, and then we're going to be making that left-hand turn. We're doing the Sunshine 5 departure. So we got uh, uh, Papa Oscar Mike to Sunshine to uh, Inland. And then we got Shores, Midway, Corez is our transition out there. And then Makers. Then we do the Surfer arrival. So Surfer, Gnarly, or Gnarly, <laughs> Ways, <laughs> Epic, uh, Fullet, and then Eddie. And we shoot the ILS approach for runway 28 right into San Francisco. That's what we got going. Um, we're going to brief on our end, so I'll uh, get ready for that. All right, pre-flight checklist, please. Hey, okay, pre-flight checklist. Battery switch. Is on. Standby power switch. Is auto. Hydraulic demand pumps. Are off. Parking brake. Parking brake is set. Landing gear lever. Is down. Flat position indicator and lever. Is up. Uh, it is up. I agree with that. Uh, fuel control switches. Fuel control switches are cut off. Perfect. Uh, Anti-ice. Anti-ice off. Oxygen. Checked. Merge the exit lights. Are armed. Altimeters. Altimeters are set. 29991. 29991. Cross check. And that is pre-flight checklist complete. Fantastic. All right. We're going to go ahead and let them know on the ground that we're ready to start. Let's get that beacon light on. You can like coming on. We're just about uh, ready to push out of here. We're not going to be using GSX with uh, your controls. We've had some issues with that. So instead, we're actually going to start up all four engines right here on the ramp. And we're going to do a power back. And then we'll make our left-hand turn out towards the runway. Before start checklist, please. All right. Hydraulic demand pumps. On. Uh, fuel load and pumps. Fuel load is 46.3 for me. I know you're probably still in kilos. Um, and then the pumps are on. Okay, hey, perfect. Uh, APU. APU is not on yet. We need to start that sucker up. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. So that's all right. It'll be a little delayed on this APU. All right. APU is running. APU bleed on. It is. All right. We can continue the checklist. Eight beacons are both. Doors. Closed and locked. Passenger signs. Are on. Eight before start checklist complete. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and go... Uh, run on engine four. We'll start engine number four. Run on engine four. We have a good start on engine four. We can start engine number three. Okay, starting engine three. And you turn bleed three on if you want. We have a good start on engine three. Let's go ahead and start engine number two. Bleed three on, starting engine two.
All right, good start on engine number two. Let's start engine number one. And one starting. Wonderful, sir. We've got N1 rotation. All right, that's a good engine start on one. Let's go flaps 10, please. Flaps 10. Coming down, we get the stab trim set for us. That's good there. MCP panel. Let's just go ahead and take it all the way on up to uh, what we, we said 38,000 or 36,000? 360. Really? Yeah, let's do 36, 36. on the MCP. That'll work for me. I'll set our heading here to our runway heading. All right, 36,000 is there. 260 on the heading. 149 is in our speed window. Everything up there looks good. Flaps 10 are set. And we can do our flows now. So let's go ahead and make sure all engine bleeds are on. APU bleed comes off. I'm going to turn the APU to the off position. So now we are on our power. We don't need our external power anymore because they have disconnected that. All right, after start checklist, please. APU selector. Off. Packs. Are on. Recall. Checked. Ref speeds. Ref speeds are going to be 112 for V1, 125 VR, V2, 149, as we are very lightly loaded. Eight. Flaps. 10 and green. Trim? Trim is set. Uh, should be 6.3 units for you. Uh, yeah. All right, Looks awesome. Good. Fly control checks. We got left. We got right. Got forward. Back. Left. Right. Fly controls are free and correct. Okay. And auto brakes. Auto brakes. RTO. Yep, just switched it. Okay, after start checklist complete. Uh, before takeoff checklist, please. Okay, vital data. Is checked. Packs. On. Cabin crew. Uh, they've been advised. Okay, before takeoff checklist complete. Awesome. And we're going to be taxiing right up here. Holding short. We will verify that that's runway 26 left. We go ahead and arm the auto throttle. Flight directors are on. Let's get landing lights and strobes, wing inspection, all that. Awesome. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yep. It's so nice. Get landing lights and everything's on. Strobes cool. and wing. Runway 26 left is verified. We line up on 26 left. We have, we're not online, so clear. Get your clear right. Entering the runway. To do a big line up here today. The 7 4 is so much fun to fly. Oh, I love I can see your uh, nose gear uh, controls moving. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Little tiller. Yeah. All right, 2 6. I got forward pressure on here. We're going to bring them up to 40, let them hold, and then we're going to go toga. All right. Do a stop. Got plenty of runway. Very short. Uh, take off for us today, so yep. we're lightly loaded. Bring on up to 40. A little bit more. Is there stable? And toga. Toga time. 
airspeed's alive. Eighty knots. V one. Rotate. Positive right. Gear up. L nav, V nav. L nav, V nav. Are they showing for you? Yep. I'll do. I'll do V nav for me. There we go. We're good now. We're gonna round up. I'm gonna maintain this uh, heading for now. There it goes. R nav to dink right now. Looking good. Flaps five. Flaps five. If you have a button, you're gonna have to do it. I don't have my yoke hooked up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Hold on, it's all right. All right, flaps one. Turn. And nose down a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's very strange to me. What's that? It's trying to get me to nose dive downward, which it shouldn't be doing because we're holding 250 knots. I don't know what the flight director is doing there. Weird stuff with the V-Nav. Um, I'm going to reset my V-Nav here. Yeah, hit reset V-Nav. That didn't do anything. I think it's because there's no altitudes in V-Nav. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why. Yeah, probably. Let me look. It's not a problem. We're just maintaining 250 knots right now until 10. Yeah, it's because there's no... Uh... Yep, it's coming back to me now. We're okay. Start my turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the uh, default FMC is not the greatest, obviously. No. Above 10,000 now. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, landing gear. Is up. Flaps. Up. Packs. Are on. Exterior lights. Are set. Altimeters at TA. Are checked. And APU. Is off. After takeoff checklist completes. Awesome, man. Go ahead and give me a command L, please. Command L. One second. There you are. Awesome. Work for you. Yep. Now we're on autopilot. Right, 18,000 feet, standard pressure, and I think we can go lane lights off, wing lane inspection off. off. Wing inspection off. Awesome stuff, man. Good departure. At 18 now, climbing for flight level 360.
right, we have reached our cruising altitude. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fastest seatbelt signs for the crew back there. And we are currently 10 miles from shores. Then we make that right turn to Midway, then Corez, then Makers. Top of the descent will be right before Surfer. While we're in flight here, we're going to go ahead and go to our approach page. We're going to be flaps 25 landing. 141 is that. And then in the nav radio, let's get set up for the ILS. Should be ILS 28 right, 1117. Let's go ahead and look at our chart. All right, let's do our approach briefing. Uh, we, on the briefing on the way out, we did it before uh, we started the video, but we will uh, go over the arrival. So our nav, Surfer 4, our nav here. Uh, Surfer is gonna be there, then Gnarly, 280 knots at uh, 200. Uh, waves will be 280 knots between flight level 190 and 150. Uh, Epic at uh, 280. Between 15,000, 10,000, then uh, Follett is the big one there, 240 at 8,000. Then we'll be in some uh, terrain. Uh, 240 knots, 6,000 at Eddy, and then we will be joining the localizer for 28 right approach. Um, when we get towards Follett there, we're going to be switching off of our weather radar to terrain radar. Um, looking at our approach itself, it's going to be ILS 28 right approach. Uh, so we opened that up. We double checked everything there earlier. So 111.7284 is set. We see that in the FMC. Uh, coming down here, let's have a look here at the missed approach. Climb to 3000 on San Francisco VOR, radial 281 to VICU interse intersection. Uh, DME 12 to San Francisco and hold. Missed approach requires minimum climb of 350 nautical miles to 1900 if unable. Be climb gradient. See the ILS or localizer uh, to eight left. So. That's what we'll do if we go missed. So we'll be 3,000 on the missed approach altitude. Uh, so we're over Corez right now, making our left-hand turn. Looking down here at the minimums. Minimums are going to be not on this one because I'm looking at the wrong. No, I'm, I'm on the right one. So we're 28 right. Looks like we're going to be cat three, cat two, cat one, cat one, two, one, three. That's what we got in the barrow uh, from earlier. You've already set that in there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, and SEP in at 3,000, Axmol at 1,800 to the final approach fix. And that is what we got going on there. Have a look at our taxi. Charts here, airport information. We're going to land on 28 right. Um, we're a 748, so we need to go to the 7478 approved taxi routes. Uh, so we're going to land on 28 right. Uh, and we will be making a right turn on to Kilo. We can't take Delta there. Uh, it's not approved. We can go Kilo, we can go Romeo, or we can go all the way down to Charlie 3 and make the right-hand turn uh, into the cargo ramp. So we're just going to make a right turn on Kilo, left on Charlie, take that down to Uniform. Uh, and that we're not going to make a right on Zulu. We're actually going to go left on Zulu there and then into the ramp uh, at the UAL base is where we're going to be parking. So any questions on the approach briefing? No questions, sir. All right, fantastic. Briefing complete. So we are less than 15 miles to Makers right now, and uh, we can kind of open up things and, and talk to Ryan, because Ryan is uh, going to be joining the World Flight Team, uh, our Boeing 737. Uh, 800 operation to fly around the world. Uh, we fly out to SoCal. We're part of the SoCal crew, uh, and we raise money for the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital um, and uh, other charities as well with that group. But uh, this will be the first year that Ryan has gotten into aviation. Well, you've always been like interested in aviation, but flight sim to the level that we're at where we're practicing CRM stuff uh, to where when you go into the sim, uh, we're going to go down there and train in July. Uh, I think you're going to be pretty much ready to go. So uh, for those of you that uh, didn't even know that you were interested in aviation, what got you started? Um, I've always been interested in it. Like I used to, you know, mess around with old flight sim back in the day on the old Windows 98 computer and didn't know what I was doing. And just uh, but now that I actually have a capable gaming computer and with, you know, the new sim being released, I 
decided I, like hey i've always been interested in it let's let's make a go at it and i wanted to do it properly so just t- taking it baby steps at a time learning small planes and going up to eventually to the to the big guys and i've been very fortunate in the streams and with uh jeff and the other guys on the socal team they've just been invaluable with uh passing on the knowledge and that's been one of the most refreshing things i've seen um i was really nervous about doing this because i thought people would be very gatekeepy and or would just you know would relish me seeing me fail but it's been the complete opposite everyone's been so open and and kind and willing to uh lend a hand and answer questions and it's been amazing i think it shows the passion for real life aviation and sim aviation as well as people just love seeing other people learn and that's been amazing and that's been that's besides the flying that's been my favorite part about taking this uh this new hobby on yeah and you've fallen down the rabbit hole for sure yeah you've been flying the pmdg 73 pretty uh regularly uh some other airplanes this one has been a lot of fun to fly especially in a uh in a crm kind of world here with uh two pilots operating and, and going through checklists and stuff which is good training because even though it's not the 737 we're flying uh in the sim right now uh, it still doesn't matter it's still flying with that person and still getting used to checklists together and things like that um apart from that though like uh you've been streaming on your your channel on Civ, Civ ryan uh for those of you that don't know ryan is part of the gaming group that i'm part of uh and he's he, there's more to ryan than gta believe it or not yeah shocking <laughs> i like to play other games too and i take i try to take it seriously but still have fun too everyone i know a lot of people were like i did not expect you to actually do it properly because of my general personality with rp is a bit uh, more loose mm-hmm. and more fun and goofy but i was like if i'm doing this i want to do it right so it's been yeah it's been a blast absolute blast and i know i'm only just scratching the surface at this yep and I like I can tell you right now, dude. It's it's been super refreshing to see. Like I I'm blown away by how far you have come in in so little time. But we've also put you in like a pressure cooker too. <laughs> well, I mean, like the whole world flight thing. Like, so for those who don't know, I just I was just offering to go and and help out. I was like, I love just hanging out, raising money for charity. So I was just offering to come, just be their. Uh, their uh, assistant just sit in the jump seat and go for burger runs and food runs and just help out the team is in any capacity they wanted um but it sounds like they want to they want to actually get me into that second seat eventually so which is an honor which would be insane so but i'm i'm just more than happy just to help out hang out and raise money for a good cause because uh it's a feel-good moment when, when you do that Yep, and even if uh, Ryan is not going to be in the right seat or whatever, he'll still be in the jump seat on a microphone and stuff during the world flight. So world flight's a huge, huge deal for us. We're going to be uh, promoting that pretty much the whole year. Uh, it'll be happening in November, um, and it's going to be amazing because we're going to be live streaming pretty much nonstop on uh, Fly With Rookies channel, I believe. I think he's going to have one set up just for uh, for world flight, or he's going to use his actual YouTube channel so we have one spot for everybody to go to. But if you're interested in that, I will definitely let you guys know. Also, I've been talking to Ryan, trying to get him to go to uh, Flight Sim Expo, and sounds like you're going to go. I think so, yeah. Why not? <laughs> so if you want to meet Ryan, there you go. I'm going to be at Flight Sim Expo down in uh, Houston as well. That'll be coming up in June. So mark that on the calendar. It's going to be a blast. I'm really looking forward to that. We are currently 34 nautical miles from our from Surfer, so we'll be on our top of descent. What's really cool is here, uh, looks like VNAV is actually in there. All the all the constraints are showing up oh, for gnarly nice. and ways and all that. So we can just go and go in the MCP to tw- uh, to two to 20,000 feet. Uh, that it. way, it'll be ready to go when VNAV comes into play. Uh, and then we can always do data in position, uh, but you can't on this airplane but if we did it in the 73 it would actually show you the constraints of your uh of your intersections on your um on the mfd there Twenty thousand showing for you yep i see it there yep i'm happy with it uh and we'll let vnav do its thing once it gets to the top of descent top of drop baby top of drop
You're getting rocked right now by some wind. Yeah. You said a little bit of turbulence there and the engines had to start spooling up to counter that. But it was, uh, we had the 80 knot uh, headwind there, but now we have a 55 knot headwind. So it kind of calmed down a little bit and the plane had to compensate for that. Uh, but yep, yeah, we're really close to the top of drop here. So it should be happening any moment. All right, we began our initial descent into San Francisco. We're gonna make sure those seatbelt signs are on for the crew back there. Uh, and we are three miles from Surfer, about to make that right-hand turn. And we'll continue down. If we need drag, we'll, uh, we'll use the speed brakes, which we're probably going to need, I would imagine, because we do have some uh, restrictions, remember? Speed restrictions. I'm going to pull our speed brakes back to the flight detent here to help it slow down to 280 knots. We need to be at 280 knots at Gnarly uh, at 20,000 feet. But we're only 33 off our RNP right now, so we're looking good. Bang on. But yeah, we're bang on it right now. All right, so looking at the weather coming on in here, we've got winds uh, 170 at 8 knots. So we're going to have a little bit of a crosswind there. 8 miles of visibility. Looks like it's going to be in uh, light rain few at uh, 1,500 scattered, 2,900 broken, 3,700. And altimeter will be 2,977. The peak wind was 19026 uh, earlier. So it was gusting earlier, but it looks like it's calmed down a little bit. But uh, it's raining in San Francisco. So we're going to be negative 20 C right now. Once we get in these clouds, we're going to encounter some uh, icing probably. So let's go ahead and get that anti ice turned on. If you don't mind. There you go. It's wing and engine. Sweet. Come on. There you go. Awesome. Thank you very much. No problem, sir. Yeah. Negative 21 C now, but yeah, anything over that negative 10, I'm not going to be happy about. So icing conditions and rain coming into San Francisco. I'm okay with that. I'm also going to put us on to terrain mode instead of the weather. Although I don't think any of that works in this plane. I don't, I don't think so. I've yet to see it work. <laughs> we'll use our imagination. Yeah. Uh, we just also want to say a big shout out to uh, the York Controls uh, program here and the, and the team and the devs behind it because it was we, we were nervous about getting it started. We were like, oh man, it's going to be a bunch of messing around, but it was literally just running, run and install and very simple to use. And it's been pretty fluid. Not many uh, issues like this is the fact that uh, Flight Sim doesn't have this by default. Yeah, I think there's some things in the FMC that we didn't have, like, matched up perfectly. And the VNAV yeah. light not turning on for both of us. But other than that, it's been, I mean, amazing. Yeah. Makes this thing a lot more fun to fly with another person, that's for certain. Yeah, so shout out to those to those folks. Yep, and again, we'll have it linked in the description below if you want to check out your controls. And we're going to be over ways here. Waves and headed towards epic all right we got the speed brakes in the flight detent right now just maintaining about 280 knots and we're below 18,000 feet going to be on normal now you got the landing lights there sweet 2981 that is selected rnp is looking good we're coming back down onto it uh and we can do the approach checklist please approach checklist uh atis checked fmc arrivals procedure uh, is set flaps 25 and it's going to be flaps 25 140 for the VREF. A copy. Uh, briefing is done. Yep. Recall. Recall. Checked. Um, altimeters at TL. Uh, 2981. 2981. VREF. VREF is uh, 140. Minimums. Minimums set 210. Passenger signs are on. Auto brakes. Uh, one. Landing lights are on. Approach checklist complete. Awesome stuff. Now we're starting to get a little bit of a tailwind here. 
one to go. So next is going to be full it. Let's have a look here at the legs. We need to be going down at 8,000 feet there and 250 knots. So let's, let's put it down to 10 for now. That way we don't bust speed. Yep. Because this is a default uh, FMC. Uh, the VNAV isn't going to be that good. So nope. we'll see what she does here. It should slow down to 250. All right, like, go ahead and give me uh, 1800 uh, down on vertical speed. So let's go to vertical speed mode and do 1800. Yep, that's good right there. Speed, I'm going to slow up here to 250. And altitude, you want down to 8,000? Or yep. just well, let's hold it for let's, a bit? Yeah, just let it hold off here at 10,000 here so uh, we can bleed the speed off. Let's currently do. I got the speed brakes out right now. We're looking no. good. There we go. It's 10,000 right there. Slow it to 240 now. You want to go down to uh, 8,000? Yep, 8,000, please. All right, 8,000 to 1,800. We'll go ahead and push our speed brakes forward. And we are going to arm them, if it will let me. It's really not. There it goes. Was really not wanting to do it. We'll get a little bit closer before we uh, engage our, or put our flaps in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is good right here. I like the speed. I'm gonna keep 240 for right now, and then once we get closer to like, uh, probably close to Sidby and Seppin, we're gonna slow down to 190 knots, and then we'll be putting flaps in there. But yeah, I like the 1800 right now. We can go a little more steeper than this. Let's do, uh, actually, nope. Let me put some more yeah, I'll speed brake over in speed. right here. Yep. I'm going to slow down to 230 on the engines. And let's go ahead and go down to 2,000 feet per minute. There you go. Looking good. Put up on 8,000. So next will be 6,000. So you can continue down to six. So Eddie's the one we need to be down at six at, so we're still seven miles out from that, so we're good. Yeah, I like the speed a lot better. I'm just gonna keep those those in for now, because we look at our flap speed here, we can go flap one at 285. So let's go and go flap one, please. Flap one. All right, let's go uh, flaps five. Flaps five. Speed check. 265. Good. Yep, she's slowing up now. I'm gonna slow her up to 210. We're going to get ready for our approach. That works for me. Looking good here. I think maybe this some of the rain might have moved out. We'll see. We are holding at 6,000. Okay, let's go down to 3,000. What Seppin was? Uh, 3,000? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, Seppin is 3,000. Looking good so far, so good. It's all coming together. Jeff's going to show this rookie how it's done on this landing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've had I've had some good landings in the 7.4, and I've had some <laughs> bad ones, so we'll see what happens today. Especially with this crosswind we're going to be dealing with from the left. Although it won't be bad. It's only eight knots. Yeah, that's, that sucker's starting to come down now. Um, let's go ahead and arm the approach. Our main approach now. I'm slowing down to 190. Is it armed for you? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. We'll probably get glide slope before we get localizer capture. We'll, we'll see. Looking good right now. I like what we got happening here. One yeah, to we go. Got glide slope. All right. Flaps 10, please. Flaps 10. Speed check. 245. We're good. Yeah, we're lightly loaded, so I want to make sure. Yeah, here's the rain. They weren't lying about the rain. They weren't lying. Do the wipers work on this thing? See how she intercepts everything here. They, they do not. The what now? I was going to see if the wipers worked, but they don't. No, no wipers, sadly. Trash plane. <laughs> We got the glide slope coming down, looking good here. We're gonna be right at 3,000, perfect. She's slowing up real nicely there, 190. Good, good intercept angle here. RNP's looking good. Comes our LNAV turn. We're in the soup right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on autopilot. Turning. She's turning towards Axmal.
not much visibility. Nope, not at all. All right, I'm watching the autopilot here. We got glide slope coming down, but it doesn't seem like it's capturing. So, my airplane. Let's go ahead and go gear down. Gear down. Yep, when in doubt, you just fly the uh, ILS. You don't mess around. All right, we're going to slow her up. Let's go the next setting of flaps. 25. Oh, watch that. Descent rate. Flaps 25. Yep. Speed speed check 210. We're good. I look away for like one second, man. Yep. Can you get my speed set for me to uh, 150? More on the left here. Looking good. 150? Yep, 150. Landing checklist. Speed brake. Is armed. Landing gear. Landing gear down. Flaps. 25. Set. Cabin crew notified. That is landing checklist complete. Awesome. Ooh. This is, this is a heck awesome. of a crosswind. Oh my dude, it's like you're crapping this one. Holy. Yeah, they're making me work for it. I got the rabbits in sight. Back up on the glide slope here. Let's get back over to the right. Yeah, that crosswind is like doing some weird stuff to us here. We're all right yep. though. Correcting for it now. Yeah, we'll runway in sight at least. What do you call it rabbits in sight? Yellow rabbit lights is what those are called. Oh, cool. Let's watch our glide slope more than anything else. Still got it in sight, so we're still tracking okay here. We're a little right. Because the wind is like, it's showing me only, it's like doing weird stuff. It is, yep. All right. I'm going to take my throttles here. Little my throttles. Hard. Yeah, I see. I'm correcting right now. I had to go over and grab my throttles. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Still looking good here. Is your replay running? Yep. Yeah, that's checked. That's part of the landing that's part checklist, of it, I yeah. guess. <laughs> part of the landing checklist. <laughs> Man, look at this weather coming in here. This is oh awesome. Oh my God, this is an awesome crosswind. Uh, you're, yeah, you're clear to land. Yep, I'm on the pappies now, so I'm going for the three white, one red. Good here. here. Yeah, now we got a little bit of a crosswind from a, a tailwind here, so that's yeah. help, not helping us out too much here. Right on it. Thank you, Microsoft Flight Simulator, for having a huge stutter right at the last second. We appreciate when that happens. Huge stutter right there. Thank yep. you, Microsoft, for that. <laughs> it's always whenever you're landing, dude. I swear. All right, we got. F should have four in reverse. Are they not in reverse? They're not working. Not for me. There they go. There they go. That's all right. We have plenty. We're lightly loaded. Oh yeah, plenty. Yeah, look at that. Already sixty knots cleared it. Yeah, you could probably go off on to... We have to go like, down to the next one, right? Oh, yeah. Kilo is not... I don't think we're allowed Kilo, are we? Yep. We're not allowed. We have to go down Delta. Yep. That's why we do our uh, approach briefing. That's why we brief. Yep. We'll clean up the airplane after we vacate the uh, runway. Yep. But if you want, go ahead and start the APU for me. You got it. APU started. All right. I mean, it looked like a smooth landing, but man, I just couldn't tell because of the stupid stutter, right? At, yeah, oh, there was a stutter down. right as you touched down. It, it was smooth. All right, sweet. That's all we can ask for. The, the packages aren't complaining back there. No, definitely not. All right, let's clean up the airplane. Flaps up. Landing lights Flaps. off, all that stuff. Let you do your flows. Yep. Flaps up. Landing lights off. We'll do... Beacon off, wing off, 
strobe. Does the strobe come off or stay on? Yep. Comes off. Strobe off. Yep. And nav stays on. Okay. Speed brakes forward. All right. Uh, APU bleed's good. APU bleed is on now. Awesome. All right. After lighting checklist. Uh, yes, sir. Lighting lights and strobe are off. Landing gear. Or no, excuse me, <laughs> flaps. Flaps Wrong are checklist. up. Uh, speed brake. Speed brake is forward. Weather radar. Weather radar is off. After landing checklist complete. Okay, we're going to make the right here and then the left and then straight into that ramp right there in front of us. Straight into the cargo ramp. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, nicely done, dude. Nice landing. Fun flight. Nice. Nice hand flying it. Thank you, thank you. Make our left turn here and then on into Zulu, just like we briefed. This thing is so big. <laughs> Go left. And it's so weird because how far forward you are and high up, you have to like go almost, it almost looks like you're almost running off the, the road yeah. whenever you're taxiing this thing. I just know a lot of experience because I've flown this thing so much. Where it's actually at. All right. Let's taxi in to the cargo ramp. Parking brake is set. Go ahead and shut down all four engines for us. We're on the APU power, and we will be on that guy. Just, as soon as I shut down the engines, Microsoft Flight Sim was like, you're done. Oh, Went yeah. Went to the, like, the log <laughs> page. Yep, I know exactly what that's about. Let's do our <laughs> flows. Need to get the uh, fuel pumps all off, and everything looks good up there. Sweet. Seatbelt sign is off. And shut down checklist. All right. Well, I'm just doing my flows quick. Uh, those are off. Those are off. Uh, packs are still on. Okay. Uh, shut down checklist. Yep. Let's do it. Hydraulic pumps are off. 
Parking brake is set. Fuel control switches are cut off. Fuel pump switches are off. External power is not available. Run the APU. Shutdown checklist complete. Awesome. Great flight, man. That was fun. Yeah, nice flying. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Big thanks to Siv Ryan for uh, being my FO today. It was an awesome flight uh, from Ontario up here to San Francisco, and we had some weather coming in. That's all you can ask for. We'll see you next time. Take care.